Scots benefit from a union dividend as Boris Johnson spends more on public services in Scotland than in England. In a hammer blow to Nicola Sturgeon's independence plans, Treasury figures show public spending in Scotland is higher than the UK average. This means because Scotland remains in the Union it results in a benefit of almost £2,000 per person, but the SNP slated the figures and further demanded the devolved Scottish government be handed more financial spending powers, claiming the funding given by Westminster was not enough. The nationalists were accused of causing deep and scarring austerity and ignoring the priorities of dealing with coronavirus. The Treasury's Country and Regional Analysis Report CRA, found spend per head on public services was £11,566 in Scotland, compared to a UK average of £9,895, a difference of £1,671. Elsewhere, in Northern Ireland, the figure was £11,987, for Wales it was £10,929 while for England it stood at £9,604. The report also revealed the Tories' spend in Scotland increased by 10.6% over the past five years, while the overall UK percentage had grown 9%. Of the other UK countries, England had seen the smallest growth in spending with 8.8% increase over the last five years. The Tories said that this meant that union dividend per person had increased 20% to £1,671, up from £1,381 in 2015-16 when David Cameron was Prime Minister. They also warned that should Nicola Sturgeon be successful in her goal to leave the UK, then beneficial Westminster funding issued through the Barnett formula would be withdrawn. However, the SNP accused Mr Johnson of being restrictive and not helping with fighting the economic hit of the COVID-19 pandemic. This is despite Scotland receiving £8.2 billion of UK government support due to the coronavirus pandemic. More than 79,000 businesses in Scotland have also benefited from UK government loan schemes, worth more than £2.9 billion and 930,000 jobs have been supported under the furlough scheme. Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack said, During the pandemic we have seen the strength of the union and support from the UK government provide a lifeline for many Scottish people and businesses.